everyone, Andrews Collectibles back with another cool review for you. Now first, here's the story behind the review of the Shenron figure that I'm going to do with you. I was perusing eBay, as I do on a nightly basis, just kind of looking for cool stuff, searching for video games and old toys of that sort, and I came across this. It's a made in China Shenron statue. It's about six or seven inches tall, and it was like $10 free shipping. Now, every time I've made an order on eBay from China, one, the thing takes forever to get here, two, there's never any tracking, and three, it's like half the time, nothing like what it's supposed to look like in the picture. Now, that being said, this guy, so I threw the $10 order in, and I was like, mm, okay, if it comes, it comes. If not, I'm out 10 bucks. I'll put a claim and get my money back, that sort of thing. So, kind of forgot about it. And truth be told, the first time I ordered one of these, I never got it, I had to put a claim in, different seller. So then, a couple months go by, three, four months go by, and uh, something shows up in my mailbox. And I'm like, oh, what the heck is that? Like it's, didn't really have anything coming in that I ordered, and I opened it up and I saw Shenron. And I was like, oh my God. Now, this thing is pretty cool. I mean, if you wanna be a true like um, stickler, I mean, there's some points that on it that obviously are not ideal for a figurine. But that being said, let's take a look at it and you tell me at the end if it's worth the $10 I paid. Let's go. All right, well, here it is. Now, take a good look at it. I'll try and scan up and I'll scan down. Now, you can kind of see that it's got some paint smudging and you can definitely see where it's been put together, but Let's go through this and see some of the pros and cons. Now, it's about seven or eight inches tall. Let me move it back just a smidge so we can see the whole thing. It's got three little pegs that stand it up that hold its body. It's got the flame or whatever you want to call it coming out of it. And you can see kind of, let me get it closer, right here where the gluing is and right here. So obviously, I mean, it's not going to be like something you want to get inspected with a fine tooth comb. But the cool part is, I don't want this to fall. That would be a pain in the butt. It's got little mini Dragon Balls. And they're so tiny, but they do have the little dots on, like the stars on them from the Dragon Balls. Now, they are made in a, like a, in a mold making machine, so they aren't perfect spheres. That being said, they're pretty cool. So this is Shenron right here. He is a heavy guy, but free shipping, 10 bucks. And he looks pretty cartoon accurate. I mean, he's not like perfect, but paint seems to be good. There's a few smudges, a few parts where it's disconnected and like looks kind of wonky, but his face is really, really nice. Teeth are fairly nice. I mean, there's a little bit of greening here. And then the only real kind of like problem I have with it is see these rubber pegs that are supposed to go into this base here? They do not fit. So when I put him down, I'm really reliant on the stand to hold them up as opposed to the pegs. The, I've tried over and over again to get the pegs to stick in. It just won't work. But it doesn't affect display. It just kind of makes the bottom look a little bit off. But that being said, you can't really notice it until you point it out. So let's compare them to something like, I don't know, that big. So he's got a good size to him. He's not like 16 inches tall, but for an eight inch, $10 free shipping figurine statue, you can't do much better than that, in my opinion. Now, have you ordered some of this stuff from China and gotten not as good quality because I think it's very hit and miss depending on the day and depending on the mold press they use because I've ordered some Mario figures from there and they've come in and they look like the worst things I've ever seen. They've been all scuffed and like matted plastic. This one, it passes the test. So I was pleasantly surprised by the quality on this and uh, he's going to guard my movie collection on top. So let me know in the comments what you thought of him. What do you think of Shenron? Have you had any horror experiences ordering from, uh, you know, some eBay stores and that sort of thing? And, or have you had some good experiences like I have? If not, or if you have, or if you didn't, let me know in the comments. And let me know your comments on this Shenron again. Like, what do you think of it? Do you think it's worth the 10 bucks? Thanks for watching.